All right, guys, so uh, now it's nighttime. I was able to take my car out on my favorite roads around here and, uh, you know, just give her some throttle, not have to worry about any other cars on the road. But, uh, yeah, these coilovers make such a big difference. It pretty much eliminated body roll and it inspires so much confidence as you're going around a corner. Like, you just want to give it more and more throttle, but it's, it's dangerous. <laughs> And uh, also, one thing I found is that it eliminates um, wheel hop, which is good. Because in the stock springs, if I gave it throttle over like any unsettling bump or anything, my back end would just be hopping around for like good. Like if I didn't get off the throttle, then I'm pretty sure it would just stay chirping. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I actually think I'm gonna raise the rear a little bit because I think it's a little too low for my liking. I like the way the front is set. I think the front looks good. You know, it still has the, uh, I don't know. Like it has like a tuner look, but it doesn't look like hella stance flush, yo. But I don't know. I'm probably gonna end up taking that route anyway with like the low offset wheels and, <clears throat> you know, negative camber and everything. But for now on the stock 15 teardrop side, I wanna stay, I wanna be kind of modest. <laughs> But yeah, so now I'm just walking back and forth showing you guys my car. But um, oh yeah, one thing about the JSKs, I guess this could be like a JSK review since I haven't seen any on YouTube. Um, they ride like pretty solid, <laughs> pretty solid. Like you literally feel every, every vibration in the road, but they handle really well. I mean, the 240 was already a really well handling car but then once I put in the coilovers, it was like night and day, honestly. It was it was crazy. I actually, since they are adjustable dampening coilovers, I did make it a little bit softer, just because, oh, I'm going out of focus. But yeah, I did make it a little bit softer just because of how uh, how stiff it was. And that was really kind of kind of harsh. I took it on the highway and the bumps on the highway are extremely violent. It's just like a loud clunk and the whole car is kind of, I don't know, I don't like it. But <laughs> um, besides that, I don't really have any complaints. I mean, the rear are making, one of the rears is making like a little bit of a swooshing sound, but I'm not sure if that's because they're new or not, or if hopefully it's it won't, it won't get worse or anything. But um, if it does, that would suck because I'm stuck with these because I'm broke and this was a gift. But um, yeah, so far I'm pretty happy with them. Besides the fact of during the installation, I snapped three sockets and an extension trying to get these things on. But hey, I guess that's what I get for not having that great of tools at my house. But um, yeah, so Jay's case, sorry. I keep going off the topic here. But um, they're pretty. They're pretty simple to use. I mean, it's like any other adjustable coilover. But uh, I don't know. I kind of like the dampening that they have. I mean, it's the cheapest uh, adjustable dampening coilover I found, and I saw on the forums and everything. People don't really have anything against them, but then again, there wasn't really a lot of information on them. So uh, I don't know. I thought I'd just try them out, and if they work, great. But if they don't, that sucks. So I took a um, I took a risk with these.